Elena. Stephen, I don't see how we can be any use to you. The whole case is such a mess. No, 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 listen. Marcelle borrowed the car from Joseph Nguni. He didn't want it brought back to his place. He wanted it back at his sister-in-law's place in Binoni. I said I'd get hold of Jake to drive it over, but then I couldn't get hold of Jake. So Alfred said he'd do it, but Alfred never came. So I took it myself, but Joseph thought that Jake had. And when the accident happened and I was knocked out cold, he gave the police Jake's name. Yes, yes, because you're under ban and shouldn't be away from Johannesburg anyway. But how can a legal help center represent somebody who wasn't there? It's perjury, Stephen, however good the reason may be. Ah, and uh, it's such little perjury. Jake is a good boy. He doesn't mind. It's not going to be a court case, man. Just a thing to be settled between Joseph and Guni and the insurance company of the other bloke. Stephen, why can't Marcella do his own running around anyway? If he borrowed the car, why didn't he make sure that it got back without making you break your ban for a silly errand anybody could have done? Ma Marcella and I understand each other. We started off together in the youth movement back in the 50s. Yes, I remember. And what has he ever done since? He's wearing a cheap utility button on his lapel these days. <laughs> Very nice of him. But where was he when Natuli burned his pass? And why wasn't he arrested with all you others in the Congress campaigns? Must be because he's cleverer than us. And not so well known to the cops as you. Letting you risk getting arrested for some piece of nonsense. Doesn't he know that you're taking risks for really important things all the time? Does he think it a joke that a movement like the African National Congress has to go underground? He knows I get about both underground and above. And besides, what does another little trip matter? Stephen. If I didn't know you so well, I, I'd think you were a fool. But I'm afraid sometimes, one day, something senseless will happen to you. Something not worth your life. So, so you won't defend me? I mean, I mean Jake. Well, we'd better forget you ever told me you made that room. Excuse me, Minister Stephen. Is that Aiden Parrot, the publishers? Could I speak to Mr. Holler, please? Oh, I see. Uh, what did you say the name of the new manager was? Mr. Hood. H-O-O-D? Uh, may I speak to him then, please? Oh, when do you expect him? Please ask him to ring 220798, Miss Lair. Thank you. Has Robin Hood come back to life again? It looks like it. Gosh, man, just what we need. 